Benzo Warriors, my Benzo Warriors, my fasting and keto warriors, my raw vegan warriors, all of the, the good stuff, right? What's up, guys? Everything is good. Today is December 28th. It is 1039 in the morning here in beautiful Miami, Florida. Uh, I am home on vacation, but I am on my way to the office because... I have to take care of some paperwork and I have to get my job scheduled up for the new year up in Pensacola. That being said, um, I wanted to drop a video to uh, check in with people, you know, guys, please, you know, to help me grow, help this Benzo and fasting channel grow. Please guys hit the subscribe, the like buttons, comments, you know, put the notification bell, all of that. So you guys could help me grow my channel. That'll be amazing. Um, I love all you guys and I really appreciate all the comments and the love and everything. All I get now is great comments from people, you know, the ones that, uh, used to leave me the dirty comments. I told them to, uh, go fuck yourself. And, uh, they basically left Bye. <laughs> so I got the real ones that want to hear the truth. My, my Benzo, channel is about being blood raw okay i'm not gonna sit here and beat around the bush and tell you it's gonna take six to 18 months to get better they're liars all right nobody knows when you're gonna get better it could take three weeks it could take three years like it did for me all right so um basically i wish that i was told or i had somebody like me to tell me the truth that jason it could take you a long time. You know what I'm saying? I wish they would have been honest with me. Jason, you're going to feel like crap for a long time. Right? So that's why I come back always to let people know that um, we all get better, but it can take a long time. Right? Sorry to tell you that. It took me th over three years to recover. I kind of declared my recovery at three years, and then I had a little small setback, you know, and, uh, you know, things are still not 100%, but I'm, uh, let's see, September, October, November, December. Yeah, so I'm, uh, five years and three and a half months out now, all right, from my, uh, 12 years, eight months of Xanax daily use prescribed by my doctors I had three different doctors that prescribed me both Xanax and Klonopin for breakthrough anxiety <laughs> fucking doctors so yeah basically uh, I come to let everybody know that we all recover we all get better you know it's just that you know it can take a long time and uh, you gotta you know learn to uh what I tell everybody is to fix all your bad habits. You know, all the years that you ate junk food, all the, 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 the habits that you have, if you really want to get better, everything has to change. I mean, because it's just not gonna, you're not gonna lay in bed for three years and think that everything is gonna get better. It's not, you, you have to, you have to, if all of us here, don't agree or don't like their doctors anymore for what they did to us and injured, then you have to find a way to fix yourself because the doctor, as you know, is not going to do it. Find your proper diet, okay? Everybody asks me, Jason, what'd you do? What diet did you do? I'm a maniac, okay? Sometimes I do a three-day fast out of nowhere just because. Uh, I did keto and lost 103 pounds. Uh, I did the carnivore diet and it was great. I had amazing energy. But uh, I couldn't use the bathroom properly. I had to use enemas and things like that. TMI, whatever. Uh, I did the raw vegan diet. And for me, you know, I think raw is the most healing diet that there is on the planet. I think that us as human beings, we're supposed to eat fruits and vegetables and that's it. A, a, a whole food plant-based diet or a raw vegan diet, right? I like more of the whole food with about 70% raw because I could, you know, kind of once a week or twice a week, I could, you know, get me my uh, organic Thai dumplings with the nice vegetables on the inside of them. Or, you know, I could eat, you know, uh, a Morning Star burger when I want to, right? So that being said, you guys got to find a way to heal yourself. Get out of the bed whenever you can. 
I know it hurts. I know you feel tired. I know you don't want to get up. I know you can't get up. You're freaking out. But go for a walk anyway. You already feel like crap. So go and uh, feel like crap where you're walking. Or, you know, I mean, I know that a lot of people can't do it and I couldn't do it for a long time. But once you start to feel a little bit better where you could semi-function, you got to get out of your bed. You got to go and exercise. You got to try to do something because again it's not nothing's gonna change right so ultimately the video is about uh you find your medium right you find what diet works for you 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 find um all the bad habits that you you've acquired going through your life like hitting a snooze button in the morning like um you know staying up too late and uh you always having your cell phone in your hand or you know um anything you know any bad habit that you acquired what I did in my withdrawal and it was a huge game changer for me was I fixed all my bullshit all of my bad habits I got rid of all of them you know and I still do have bad habits I'm a human I make mistakes every day but I wouldn't trade my suffering for benzo withdrawal for any amount of money in this world if somebody would give me five hundred thousand dollars right now and say jason you would uh go back three and a half years ago from the time you got off of uh benzo so you'd go back to uh september 2nd 2016 and you would just get off benzos and you wouldn't have any withdrawal i wouldn't change that I'm glad that I went through withdrawal. It made me the man who I am today. It made me more resilient to life. It made me uh, uh, a person that I always put in people on the pedestal. I always looked up to people. I always uh, thought people were, I was always worried what people thought about me. I always cared about what was uh, what people were thinking. Now, I don't give a MF what people think about me and uh whenever you uh grow that heart right there your life changes to something totally out of this world whenever you don't care what anybody thinks about you about anything because they don't pay your bills they don't do anything for you right so why the should you care about anything or what anybody, anybody, even family, think about you. Because we're humans and we all got shit. We're all fucked up, we all got problems, we all have uh, our times where we're depressed, our anxiety, we all have money problems sometimes. We all have, uh, you know, worry, hurt, pain, suffer, love, joy happiness we're humans we're, we're we all have these emotions we all have problems so a person that has less problems than me and more money than me what the f do i care about what what that person thinks about me i don't he doesn't pay my bills you know he doesn't lay in the, the if it's a girl she doesn't lay down in the bed with me and uh you know what i'm saying <laughs> So I don't care what anybody thinks. I do care what my wife thinks. I do care what my mother thinks. You know, to an extent, my mother, you know what I'm saying, is hard to deal with. But I care, you know, for them. But if uh, they don't uh, agree or they, they say that I'm wrong with something or whatever, that's their opinion. We're just people, we have opinions. More of the story is if you lose anybody in benzo withdrawal, fuck them let them go all right if they don't stick beside you through this from a to z they weren't gonna stick beside you through anything else in your life anyway i don't care if it's your dad all right if he left you stranded while you're in benzo withdrawal then uh you know what he would leave you stranded again right keep your head up guys i get a lot of questions jason did this supplement or this drink set me back it probably did, okay? Big deal. It sets you back, deal with it, and keep going. Don't drink the tea again, or the, or the, or the, or the, eat the chocolate, all right? You know, 
It happens. You're very sensitive. Your nervous system is compromised. Anything can set you guys back, okay? But just deal with it and keep going. I know it sucks. Every day, benzo withdrawal sucks. I would never, I can't do one, I couldn't do one more day of benzo withdrawal. But you guys got to understand that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and fix all your crap going through it. If you're overweight, drop the weight. I lost 100 pounds. My guy Skyler, he lost money. The guy Fuse, that leaves me the message. He's a wonderful kid, man. You know, all of you guys. Everybody, I can name names forever. But fix your shit. And then when Benzo withdrawals over, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be a giant to this world. Much love, guys. I love you. I'm on my way to uh, go make some money and take care of my family like I do. And I love everybody. And God bless. Keep your heads up.